If this were to be our last conversation, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> if this were to be our last conversation, what's one thing you'd never want me to forget? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, this is so heavy. Yeah. Goodbye, friend. I stop. <laughs> oh I have no idea. Yeah, that's not going to ever happen. I'm going to die before you, so. What? Why? Because you can get diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I hope to god you don't. <laughs> um, I don't know. I uh, oh, sounds so goofy. But you need to believe in yourself. And I hope that, you know, you can really truly believe in yourself in the future. Oh. Oh. And that's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're you're an amazing girl. Yeah. And you'll do really great things. Yeah. I'm so cry. <laughs> hmm. What do you think I'm hesitant to tell you? Why? Mm. I think you get hesitant to tell me, like, I guess, like, I don't know. There's some things I'm like, what? Like, that happened? But you're like, yeah, but I didn't want to mention it. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah. there's some, like, health problems and stuff like that or, like, you were like, yeah, I had whatever problem for a while. And I was like, what? Like, yeah. <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, but I, I don't know. I can't really think of much else. I don't know. Is that accurate? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I feel like I'm sometimes hesitant to tell you, like, going back to the, like, stupid boys. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, but, like, I feel like you sometimes do that, too. Like, I feel like you have. Uh, told me some stuff about your most recent ex, like recently, and I'm like, I don't even know that happened, girl. Like, yeah, but like, yeah, I didn't tell anyone yeah. because it was a whole like thing. Yeah, and I think we're both prone to doing that. True. Yeah, I think subconsciously I knew that my friends wouldn't like the things that he said and yeah. did, and so I was just kind of like, it's fine. Like, we'll work through it. Yeah. But then you never end up working through it, and you're like, I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, not only that, but he got super mad at me for talking to my friends about our relationship. He oh was like, my gosh. it should be private. And I was like, okay. Mm. Anyway, I'm Red glad flag. that I stole his bestie from him. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, I love that man so much. Okay. <laughs> mm. When was the last time I let you down? And how do you feel about it now? Oh my gosh. Uh, sometimes I can tell that you're not like taking care of yourself. And <laughs> I mean like that's everyone though, you know? Yeah. Like sometimes we just like don't have the like capability to take care of it. So it's not like you're letting me down, but I just like sometimes wish that, I wish you would protect your heart more. Oh, and like, that's so sweet. yeah. That's, that's like some biblical stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from the bible okay yeah. <laughs> but yeah that's sweet the last time you let me down was but no i feel the same way about you I, I think like sometimes i wish i was here just so i could like be here for you yeah. um instead of being in la but i don't know Mm -hmm. Though I don't know, like the last time you let me down, it wasn't even something major. It was more of like, oh, it was another thing to do with a boy. It was like, why did you get into a relationship <laughs> with this boy? Like we all could see that it was headed towards, yeah, you know. And then you were just like, no, it's fine. And then the time before that, it was, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it was oh my the god. Indonesia trip. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wasn't yeah. that mad at you or anything. Like it was just kind of like. I needed a break from you for a while, but I think it was like, <laughs> it was more of like just being in close quarters for that yeah. long of time than anything else. Yeah. Mm, okay. What's my biggest blind spot and what advice do you have for me regarding it? Mm -hmm. Don't bring up boys again. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't, okay, okay. If you don't want me to bring up boys, <laughs> then I won't bring up boys first. No, do it, do it. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, I just feel like, I don't know. I just, mm, sometimes I feel like 
you have so much potential, but like you can't see it or like that you do, you're just like, no, like I'm not that smart. I'm not that pretty. Like I'm not that X, Y, and Z. And like, it like hurts me whenever you like say this stuff about yourself because I feel like you have so much inside of you that you just like don't like can't recognize. And I like, and I don't know. I, I get that because I feel like the same for you. Be oh, well, yes, of course, what? because I feel like you're ambitious and you go for the things that you want, but then at the same time, you like don't. It's so strange because you don't recognize that you're like actually suited in those environments that you put yourself in. You know what I mean? <laughs> what is it called? Uh, like imposter syndrome? Yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah, I'll get there. And then it's like you're there and you're like. I shouldn't be here. Like, no, <laughs> like, you should be there. That's why you're there. Yeah, so. I feel like that's one aspect of it. I just, I guess, I think that's a little bit of me projecting, but with blind spot when it comes to guys, I just feel like you should wait for someone who like really knows what they want. Cause you know yeah. what you want and you keep finding guys. And I, like I said, I feel like this also a function of us being like kind of young that don't yeah. really like aren't ready or like whatever for that yeah and you're just kind of like you're so loyal and dedicated and patient just like me <laughs> <laughs> but no but you're you're really like a loyal faithful like person and, yeah. and you're like I'm willing to work on this and like you like really put your all into the relationship and and they just don't reciprocate the way that you deserve to be reciprocated so yeah. raise yeah. your standards honey oh my <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is sweet. Okay. What does my friendship feel like? Feels like sitting on a cactus. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm so sorry. No, you're good. I'm just crying real quick. No, what do you what? <laughs> do you want to explain that? It feels like a warm hug. I'm sorry. Aww. I was just I was just fucking with you, but it feels like a warm hug. Oh. Or like a like a comfort blanket. Yeah. Like that you kept from like a little you know, like when babies have that little square of fabric and they're like <laughs> <laughs> You've taken child development. Just like a little blanket? I know, it's like there's like a specific name for it. It's like a it's I like a know, squiffle girl. or something. <laughs> it's like a it's a <laughs> it's a comfort thing. Oh girl, I have with no like idea. a little animal. We'll go to Target later <laughs> and figure this out. What are, okay, oh uh, what God. does my friendship feel like? I don't know. <laughs> I definitely agree. It definitely like feels like I mean, it's comfort, but it's also it's something that gives me like a lot of energy. I feel like I'm maybe the most energetic, like coffee. Yeah, like a really. I was. I was really. Gonna, like, I really was gonna so say I'm, a toasted, uh, ice <laughs> toasted white chocolate mocha. So with, with the cold foam. So it's like sweet. It's like a sweet friendship. Hey, if you want to be in the know about all things the Skin Deep, sign up for our newsletter at theskindeep.com/subscribe to get the latest news.